Hey, it's Funky J. What's going on, guys? So I got an album review for y'all. It's Eiffel 65. That's right, Euro Pop. This is the album that got them started. Uh, if you don't know who Eiffel 65 is, all I have to say is I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba die da ba dee. Yeah, now you know who they are. <laughs> That's the number one song that got them famous, and that was extremely overplayed in the 90s. Um, really cool bunch of guys. What I love about this dance pop group is that their songs still have a message to it. It's not all just like, you know, love songs or let's get high songs. Uh, in fact, I don't even think they do drugs, which is really cool. But uh, here's some album artwork. It's just three dudes. Uh, two of them play synth uh, and one of them sings. Uh, he also has a synth, like, voice if that makes sense like he uses synth vocals and it works for this because it's you know an electro pop band but um uh, yeah it's just uh, i mean dance pop i guess is the technical term still very awesome you know very awesome shit you know a lot of pop when you think of the word pop you think of just like watered down shit and it sucks that bands like this have to be have the same label as you know pop groups like you know fucking well, I don't even have to name names. You guys know what sucks and what doesn't, but uh, these guys definitely do not suck. I love Eiffel 65. They have so many great hits. I mean, I love every single song on this album. Uh, you know, Too Much of Heaven, awesome song about people that are just greedy and, you know, only want money. Uh, Living in a Bubble, that's a cool song about being antisocial. See, so their songs have a really good message to it. Uh, Move Your Body. That that song is just straight up orgasmic. I don't know what it is, but they have a way of just making such awesome sounding music. Even with just three guys, which is really amazing. Uh, Daft Punk, I mean, they're, I guess you could say they're even more amazing. Because there's only two of them. But I don't know what it is. I like Eiffel 65 a little bit more than Daft Punk. Uh, Daft Punk, though, is very epic. A very epic uh, dance pop band. Um, just just really cool. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't beat Daft Punk and Eiffel 65 as far as 90s dance pop goes. Um, but yeah, I don't know um, what else to say. Eiffel 65 had another album called Contact. I actually have it right here. Uh, these are really the only two albums I like from them, but actually, these are pretty much the only two they made. Uh, yeah, they had some really good songs, man. Just really awesome songs. Uh, DJ with a Fire, I think, was a big hit on this one. But they, I mean, just a lot of really cool songs. Uh, Lucky in My Life, that, that was another hit that they made, but yeah, just uh, check them out if you haven't yet, guys. I know a lot of you know who they are. But ex explore some more of their songs. Uh, some more hits that they had, though, was, what's that song? Back in Time. I know that was kind of a hit. It wasn't nearly as huge as Blue. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think that other one. What's that one song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Losing You. That was an awesome song. I don't know what... Was that on this one? Yeah, that was that was on Contact. Losing You is an epic song. It features some chick singer. I don't remember who it was. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching my review. This is Punky J, and I'll see you next time. Peace.